the work at Rosh sounds super fascinating because the intent is there, the principles are there about what they're trying to achieve. And the time it takes to, to get there is is really important. But to quote Patrick Quattlebaum, who I spoke with recently on the podcast, will be coming out soon, author of Orchestrating Experiences. He said, it's not the time it takes to do something, it's the timing. And the timing mm. of the, the, the situations is really, really important. Mm. So with an awful lot of the work that you're talking about here um, around, I guess, n nudging the ecosystem or setting yeah. up the components and the factors, where does the timing, how can we ensure that what we're doing um, is, is, is aligning to the right time for the organization to do it? Because you know things can happen at certain times. The market fit isn't there. Sure. The organization isn't ready. The, the consumer isn't ready, whoever it is. What are the indicators for you in saying, okay, now is the time to do this? Yeah, it's a very good question. I, so I think of two things when you, when you mentioned this. Number one is often we say it's not the right time when we have the narrow view of let me launch my product or let me launch my business in a certain environment, right? And so we check, yeah. is my idea ready for that environment? And mm -hmm. for all of these successful ecosystem stories, if you had applied that filter, you would have said, ah, no, that's, that's never going to work. The environment's not ready. You know, when yeah. uh, Alibaba is trying to do e-commerce in, in, in China in 2003, there's no uh, shipping, you know, express shipping industry. There's no payment systems. So what, what would you say? Yeah, it was too, too early. It's not going to happen. But no, at, you know, if you're an ecosystem leader, then you have to uh, take a larger responsibility to create the pieces that are missing in the environment uh, so that your idea can thrive. So that's one, yeah. one aspect of timing. The other aspect, I think, is, you know, what are the, um, I would use this word, what are the fertile grounds where you see that there are um, emergent possible collaboration that, that, you know, act, some actors are ready, not everyone, but mm. where you can go and talk to them and, and, you know, have them back up your vision because they are aligned with it as well. And yeah. I think that kind of takes, um, well, builds momentum, uh, you know, towards the ecosystem, which will take a few actors, maybe not all of them at the, at, or not all of the usual ones. Because, uh, you know, if you try to wait for that timing, maybe it's you wait for a long time. Um, yeah. So I would, I would think of timing in terms of fertility of, you know, where is this the right, where is the right terrain to plant seeds and to cultivate these seeds? Yeah. It sounds like you've, you've hit an area um, in your own kind of, uh, I guess, knowledge, if you want to you you're focusing on something that's really interesting to you i can sense it like and i sensed it when we were mm. driving around up and we were talking about some of this stuff weaving the ethical considerations you know really reflecting on what's gone before and what's potentially going to come ahead um what does the future look like for greg um and greg bernarda in terms of where you're going to take this this knowledge work that you're doing at the moment yeah so i was telling you earlier that I feel like this is a thread that I'm pulling and I'm seeing what comes yeah. with it. But to me, um, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's getting out of this business language a little bit, uh, yeah. of, you know, I think, I think it's the business language that we have is a bit too small for the kind of problems we have. 